Well, for schools, the rising number of COVID cases has seen the introduction of restrictions for both pupils and teachers in an effort to make sure classes can continue. For many, today was the first day back after the Christmas break and students arrived to find face masks and testing have become the norm. Sam Blackledge reports. These year 11 pupils at St James's School in Exeter are excited to be back for the first day of the new term, even if you can't quite tell from their faces. The latest update to the government's COVID rules means teachers and students in secondary schools must wear masks at all times, and this lot seem to be taking it in their stride. Personally, it makes me feel a lot happier if masks can help maintain a little bit of the spread of the virus. I think it's a really positive thing to be wearing them. And I think it also helps people feel a lot calmer about the whole situation, having them all in classrooms. So I think it's a really good thing. Students are also being asked to test themselves twice a week with lateral flow kits and to isolate if they get a positive result. All of this is ultimately an attempt to avoid closing schools, which the government describes as a last resort. I feel like it's really important that the school stays open. To be in that learning environment, to be with friends, to be with teachers is so rewarding. It would be really hard to do all the learning and also preparation for exams and practical subjects without that. The head teacher here says masks in classrooms do seem a bit odd at first, but adapting to new rules at short notice is something schools have had to get used to. I do think they originally changed the dynamic a little bit because children were not used to reading expressions just through the eyes. But I think that more and more it's become a normal part of what they're used to. Teachers have to project their voice somewhat more. Sometimes it feels a little bit frustrating that things are changing, but I recognise the national picture is also changing, so it's a necessity. And our job is to just make sure we're up to date with that guidance and get on with it. One of the biggest challenges facing all workplaces at the moment is how to deal with staff shortages, and schools are no different. Education unions are warning that the number of teachers off sick is only likely to get worse over the coming weeks. We do have a rising number of absents, even from yesterday through today. We've had three more positive cases amongst staff. We actually have been very lucky that we haven't had loads of cases, but supply is an issue. It's very difficult to get supply, and I think that that's a national problem, as the government have recognised. But it, it definitely is challenging, and will get more so as the term moves forward. So the familiar chatter in classrooms and corridors is back for now, but teachers, pupils and parents are bracing themselves for whatever might come next. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Exeter.